Welcome back guys. Today I'm taking a look at the uh, Manjaro XFCE, the flagship version, uh, and the new 1610 Release Candidate 1. Now, I ins this is the second iteration of the uh, Release Candidate that I've installed. The first version had some bugs and I had some issues. It installed properly, but I had some issues installing a screensaver and then I ended up having to wait a day or so for them to come up with a fix and because this is a release candidate then of course there there are uh, there's a higher probability of bugs and so I understand that process I also saw on the uh, Manjaro website that there were some issues with an update of the 1608 version and um, so the, it appears that they have that sorted at this point in time. Looks like everything's working pretty well. So uh, I did the update on my 1608 install and I had no issues whatsoever. But there were some reported issues. Um, again, I waited for the 1610 fix, which came along yesterday, I believe, and I downloaded yesterday's ISO. And then I went went ahead and um, did this install, and I had no issues whatsoever. So, but again, this is a, a the first release candidate of 16.10. The stable release is 16.08. So if you are looking for a new daily desktop, then 16.08 would be my recommendation. Now I prefer XFCE over KDE. However, uh, that's a personal preference and you may have a different opinion but uh, there are many many uh, community spins that you might want to take a look at and so um, they have uh, really they have something for everyone now the forum at Manjaro is very active extremely active so that bodes well if you're a new user and you have some questions you will certainly be able to get answers in their forum and there was a lot of chatter over the last few days dealing with bugs that were introduced during updates and things like that and so uh, they were very responsive and they they pretty much took care of everything and what you're seeing here on my desktop is the 1610 release candidate one now I put it through all of its paces I hit it with everything that I normally throw at it and as you can see um, Steam works out of the box Battle.net out of the box Hearthstone, War Thunder Amazon Prime Video, Hulu and Netflix all working out of the box I'm running Chromium as my browser uh, Battle.net and Hearthstone installed without Play on Linux. It, were, it, it installed directly through Wine Tricks, which is my preferred method because it is simpler and does not introduce another application. And so I have a video online that shows that process using Wine Tricks. It is the simplest install process for Battle.net and Hearthstone and that's the one that I prefer using now when that doesn't work uh, it uh, then I fall back on play on Linux and I can usually get it running with a little bit of tweaking now <clears throat> but that's really never necessary in any arch based distribution with arch everything just works Th that's in my experience so uh, now I on this particular computer I, and I don't want to veer off because this is a Manjaro review video but I do have Lubuntu running and it is running perfectly I'm going to do a, uh, a review later on today uh, just to update the Lubuntu install and go over some some uh, items with you on that but let's get back to this Manjaro review uh, as I mentioned, I installed it with um, all of the programs that I usually install. Uh, in the system tray, I have Caffeine, Clip It, I have um, Redshift, Synapse. Um, 
I don't have any issues with any of those. I also, at uh, one of our viewers' request, I installed a screen fetch. Um, I was asked to show the specs as listed within screen fetch, and that is it right there. Um, and so you can see it's the Manjaro. It's listed as 1608 because it's the 1610 release candidate one. Um, and so it hasn't taken on that 1610 name yet. It's the Man, it's the Manjaro kernel 4.4.24-1. It's up for 15 hours and three minutes, 1173 packages. Bash is 4.3.46. My monitor resolution is 1920 by 1080. I'm running the XFCE4 desktop environment with the XF window manager. Uh, the default Manjaro theme is Vertex Maya, and that's and I'm using Fienza Dark for my icons. Uh, I did install Infinality fonts, and I'm using Droid Sans 10. My uh, processor is the i7-4790 at 4.4 gigahertz. My uh, GPU is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760. I've got 32 gigs of RAM and I'm using about 10% uh, of my available RAM, about three and a half gigabytes. Now I've got um, simple screen recorder going, I've got uh, GUVC view, so um, that's why the RAM usage right now is up a little bit high. Now, if I go back to the, the spreadsheet that I introduced uh, a few reviews ago, let's take a look at the um, information. As I said, this is the Manjaro XFCE 1610 release candidate 1. These are the specs on my machine, which I already uh, went through with you. Now the install drive is a 240 gigabyte SSD. Right now I have uh, four, four distributions running on that uh, SSD. During the install Manjaro does allow you to forego a bootloader install. So I, during the install I elected not to install a bootloader because I wanted to control it myself within the system. My Wi-Fi, I had Broadcom and Dongle um, installed and both were recognized during the install, both of them. My install time was 5 minutes and 48 seconds, but that is basically because I'm not installing a bootloader. That takes a little bit more time. My boot time is 6.5 seconds. The default kernel is 4.4.24-1, the Manjaro kernel. RAM usage on first boot was 515 megabytes. And on first boot, I was using less than 1% of my available CPU. Uh, NVIDIA installed 370.28 out of the box. I did not have to use an installer. I did not have to use command line. Um, because I used the non-free version of the install, my NVIDIA card was configured properly out of the box. Broadcom Wi-Fi, um, ironically, it's available during the install, but uh, after first boot, I had to use Yawert to install Broadcom w WL. Now, uh, just a, a bit of information about that. Uh, Manjaro is unique in that when you need to install Broadcom, if you do a search on Yawert space Broadcom, you'll find that there are several versions of the drivers depending upon what kernel you're running. So I installed the Broadcom version for my kernel, which was the 4.4. And so it installed perfectly, reboot, worked right out of the box. My brother printer installed, no problem at all. It is working. And let's see if I bring that up. As you can see, my brother printer is installed and working fine. Uh, Netflix, I added that to the list because I know it's important for a lot of people who stream uh, from the streaming services 
and I have Amazon Prime, Hulu, and Netflix all working through Chromium. Now with Chromium you need to install Widevine and Pepperflash. Both are readily available through uh, Yawart. Uh, 37 wallpapers, 4 icon sets, the number of themes is 24, XFCE desktop environment, and it's the Arch Distro family. Now, I changed the um, the icons. I left the, def the default Vertex Maya theme. I changed the Fianza icons. It comes out of the box with the Vertex Maya icons. And I also changed the desktop using one of the other stock wallpapers. Office is LibreOffice. Steam comes pre-installed and working fine. Uh, Battle.net is working, but I and I got it working through Wine Tricks, Wine and Wine Tricks, which I installed. I did not need Play on Linux. If you look in the menu, there is a, se a separate Wine category for Battle.net and Hearthstone. And for, as far as issues with this install, there were none. With the prior install, I had an issue with the screensaver, um, which actually affected the ability to log out, log in, and reboot. But again, that was resolved, and this is the new release candidate one. So that wraps this up. This is the Manjaro XFCE release candidate one, the 1610 version. Uh, it works perfectly. As usual, I'm very happy with my with my Manjaro install. I ran into no issues whatsoever. So guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.